so with dementia we've been talking about all the videos of my mom that I've been posting of my mom and I was at the point where I was talking about where are they going to go when you when you feel like you failed and you can't do it no longer you're exhausted you're you don't know which way to turn it's too much you feel like you're not being the caregiver they need they're not getting what they need in your eyes because I wanted her to have the best and uh, I was by myself I just wasn't able to provide and meet all the needs she needed at the time so I had to, I called my brother you know and, and I said I just I can't do it by myself I, I, if she gets hurt or anything I'm, I, I don't know what I'm gonna do I was panicked in myself and um, and at this point it was very very difficult because she was getting progressing in her dementia that it was being a really it is a struggle where she wasn't at the end able to do everything for herself like she was before and um, in a way that you know as a caregiver that's a good thing but a bad thing because what you experience is they go from being able to kind of take care of themselves but with that comes along with they're very independent and they think they can do everything so they're my mom was an energetic person so she was automatically I can do this I can do that and she couldn't so you, you know it's like having an unruly teenager I always describe her as different cycles of her lives because there was the cycle when she became the baby again that she needed to be taken care of there was the cycle of her toddlers you know her as a toddler age where she was you know like a little cute kid and and you just oh she wanted a milkshake let's get her a milkshake you know or a baby doll and and it was the cute phase None of it was really cute, but you kind of start growing with it. And uh, then there's the phase of the unruly teenager where she's going to do it, whether you like it or not. And, you know, and then there's the adult part of her that, hey, I'm an adult. I know I can do this. Why are you holding me back? So, and, and with that comes the respect of she is my mother and I'm her daughter. So there's that, there's that line of, I, you know, respect her and listen to her to the point of you have she has to go along with what I'm going to do for her and it was overwhelming